Hello, it's a pretty lovely, lovely good evening once again from here in Cali and it is extremely chilly here and winds, icy winds are blowing. To be very honest with you, it is very difficult to hold the pen and it is more difficult to take the class. But anyway, today it is extremely cold. I've never actually experienced such cold in jelly ever. Anyway, so till up to 2.2, we have already finished and moving over to, I think actually 2.2 I had given to you for uh, your uh, homework, I think each one of you must have succeeded in doing that one. So on such note, we start today's to this particular session with 2.3 and it's a pretty strong what we call question. Let's have a look over it first of all without wasting much time and without much ado. Correct? So let's come straight to the point. Yes. And in order to understand this particular question, let's go through. I hope each one of you have, have opened your notes. So the following is the draft balance sheet of Divers Limited and it is having an authorized share capital of 1000. Although authorized share capital is not going to have any impact in the solution. Now in this case balance sheet of Divers Limited is given <coughs> unlike the previous questions wherein the balance sheets of both the divisions were available but in this question the balance sheet of Divers Limited is given in its entirety. First item is property, plant and equipment. Just pay attention. It is written gross less depreciation. That means this 600 is net value. This is the net value. So what would be the gross value? Quite obviously the gross value must have been 800. 800 minus 200 is equal to 600. Then we are given financial asset. Investment is not investment. Nowadays there is another category that is known as financial assets and under financial assets we write investments and investments are carried at fair value that means even though it is written in the books that is book value but this is also the fair value at 1000 it is being reflected further we are given current asset 3000 and this is the total actually this is total total is 4600 then further we are given in this particular question equity under equity we are given equity share capital 250 other equity 1350 Besides that, we have got non-current liability in the form of financial liabilities. Under the non-current liability, we have a subheading financial liability. And under financial liability, there are borrowings in the form of unsecured loan. That is equal to 1000. Then besides that, we are also having what we call current liabilities. As far as liability side is concerned, only two items are there. Correct? And as far as your asset side are concerned, we have already come across there are three items, property, plant and equipment, investment and current assets. Further, it is given in the question below, capital commitments, it is of course a contingent liability, capital commitment, that means we might have entered into some agreement with some other entity and we, ha we have given them a commitment of 700 crores. So it is a sort of contingent liability written under the footnote. Further, it is given that the company consists of two divisions. Now, the question unfold itself. Now, we come to know Diverse Limited has got two divisions. Diverse Limited has got two divisions. And now, the information which we have is, this is your Diverse Limited. Diverse Limited. And now, question says that Diverse Limited has got two divisions. One is known as Establishment Division. In fact, established division, another one is new project division. So one is established division, another one is new project division. Although in segregated form, assets and liabilities are not given. Establishment division and new project division is given to you in this particular question. Further, it is given that establishment division whose gross block was 200 crore. Gross block was 200 crore and net block was 30 crores what we mean by gross block gross block always stands for fixed asset remember one thing gross block always stands for fixed asset or property plant and equipment you may say so so question says that as far as establishment division is concerned it's gross block that means the property plant and equipment of this particular block as far as is concerned so its gross value is actually 200 its gross value is 200 that is given in the question correct its gross value is 200 and its net value is 30 its net value is 30 that means the depreciation on gross block must be equal to 170 then only actually we can say that its net value is 30 so 
Now we have come to know that as far as property plant and equipment is concerned, out of that, net value 30 belongs to actually establishment division. Is it clear to you? Now, if you are going to have a look over here, total net value is 600. Now, total net value is 600. Total net value is 600. Total value, net value is 600. Out of 600, net value of property, plant and equipment of establishment division happens to be 30. So, quite obviously, we may say that net book value of new project division must be equal to 570. It must be equal to 570, isn't it or not? Further, we also know in the question that gross value is 800. Total gross value is 800. We also know. So, total gross value is 800. Sorry, total gross value is 800. And out of 800, 200 is the gross book value of property, plant and equipment of establishment division. So, we can safely conclude that 600 must be gross book value of property, plant and equipment of net project division. Sorry, new project division. And 600 minus 570 because this is the net value available. And this is the gross value. Now we have figured it out. So quite obviously the difference here is 30. So that means the depreciation. The depreciation of this particular division must be equal to 30. And total depreciation is equal to 200. So this is how we have segregated property, plant and equipment between these two divisions. Is it clear to you or not? Right, sir. Further, it is given in the question, current assets are 1,500 crores and working capital is 1,200 crores as far as of establishment division is concerned. Now we know that current asset minus current liability is always equal to working capital is always equal to working capital. Now, as far as establishment division is concerned, it is written in the question that current asset is equal to 1,500. And working capital is also given to you as 1,200. Working capital is equal to 1,200. So, we can safely conclude that current liability must be equal to 300, isn't it or not? Now further it is given that new project division to which remaining fixed asset, remaining current asset and remaining current liability related. We have already seen that as far as remaining current asset because information with respect to fixed asset or property, plant and equipment of establishment division was available. We figured out the remaining portion, remaining portion of what we call property, plant and equipment. And we came to know that gross value of what we call remaining property, plant and equipment is 600, depreciation is 3570 is the net book value. Likewise, now first we will have a look over the current asset. Current asset given in the question as you can see 3000. Is it clear to you? Total current asset is equal to 3000. This column is of total. Out of total current asset, establishment division is having what we call 1500 worth of current asset. So, quite obviously, new project division will have, or, or should I say, new project division must be having current asset of 1,500. The difference of 3,000 and 1,500. Now, we will look into the current liability. As far as current liabilities are concerned, total current liability given to us is equal to 2,000. So, I will write here 2,000. 2,000 is the total current liability. Is it clear to you? And out of 2,300 is the current liability of establishment division. So, we may say current liability of this particular division must be equal to 1,700. Is it clear to you? Right, sir. It is absolutely clear. Now, if I will subtract 2,000 from 3,000, I may say total working capital is equal to 1,000. Total working capital is equal to 1,000. And out of that 1,200 is the working capital of establishment division. That means working capital of this division must be negative. And you can also verify it because current liability is more than current assets. So quite obviously, this division is having negative working capital. But importantly, importantly, we have figured out. Now, in this question, we have figured out. That as far as property, plant and equipment is concerned net value of net value of property plant and equipment of this division is 30 we can say and we can surmise 
And similarly, we can say net book value of this particular division with respect to property, plant and equipment is 570. And as far as current assets are concerned, current asset is equal to 1500. We can say now. And even this division is having current asset equal to 1500. Also, we are able to trace out current liabilities. Current liability is 300 and 1700. This is the scenario at this particular moment. Is it clear to you or not? Right, sir. Further, it is given now in the question. So we have figured out the items of what we call fixed asset, current asset and current liability related to new project division. Now further, it is given to us that following a scheme of reconstruction was agreed upon. I have already told you this entire process of demerger, sale of division, split offs can be summarized in one technical term that is reconstruction. The new company, two new companies, Two new companies, Sunrise Limited and Khajana Limited, are to be formed. So this time, this entity, demerged entity, is forming two new companies, that is Sunrise Limited and Khajana Limited. Correct. Further, it is given that authorized share capital of Sunrise Limited is 1000 crore. Although it is irrelevant information as far as solution is concerned, but still you will have to keep a track of it. And authorized share capital of Khajana Limited is 500 crore. Two new companies have been formed. Now, importantly, you are given that Khajana Limited is to take over investment at rupees 800 crores. So, investment which is appearing in the balance sheet at 1000. Remember one thing. Regarding investment, no information was available in the question. Regarding in this particular item, no information was available in the question. Correct? Now, it is being said that this investment was taken over by Khajana Limited at a valuation of what we call 800. So two new companies have been formed. One is Khajana Limited. Another one is Sunrise Limited. And now it is given that Khajana Limited is taking over the investments. And further it is given that investments have been taken over at rupees 800 crores. So I note it down carefully at what value it has been taken over. That is 800, correct? Further, it is given unsecured loans at balance sheet value of 600. Not only investment, Khajana Limited also took over some loans also. And we can see in the balance sheet, it is given as far as loans in the form of borrowings or unsecured loan is given. That is equal to actually 1000. Out of 1600 worth of loan have been taken over by this entity. So, Khajana Limited is also taking over unsecured loans correct unsecured loans to the extent of 600. Khajana Limited is taking over all these things. Further, it is given that Khajana Limited is to allot equity shares of 10 each at par to the members of Diverse Limited in satisfaction of the amount due under the arrangement. So, in this case, Diverse Limited, uh, sorry, in this particular case, Khajana Limited is allotting what we call is to allot equity share. It is simply given that Khajana Limited is going to provide the purchase consideration, although purchase consideration is not given in absolute terms. It is written in the question that Khajana Limited is going to provide, uh, where it is written, it is to allot equity shares of 10 each. How many equity share it is not given to us. So we do not know at this particular moment the amount of purchase consideration, but whatever may be the purchase consideration, it is being given to the members of Diverse Limited. So, in this case, of course, purchase consideration is being given by way of equity shares. No doubt about that. And it is being given to the members further. It is also important. However, with respect to Khajana Limited, it is not written whether any shareholder is having more than 50% stakes in, the, in Khajana Limited or not because Khajana Limited is a new company. Correct? No information is given. And if you remember, I talked about this particular fact that if no information is given, presume it to be a case of common control. So in this case, all the transaction with respect to Khajana Limited, because this time two new companies are coming into picture. So our transactions, our means the transactions of Diverse Limited with Khajana Limited will fall under the purview of con common control. Correct? Further, it is given that book value of loans approximates the fair value. That means, whatever value of loan which is given in the balance sheet, that is almost equal to fair value. Is it clear to you? 
Further, it is given in the question. Now, with respect to information number C, it is given. Sunrise Limited is to take over property, plant and equipment. Sunrise Limited is taking over property, plant and equipment and networking capital of new project division. Of new project division. Now we come over to Sunrise Limited. As far as Sunrise Limited is concerned, so far the information is that Sunrise Limited is taking over property, plant and equipment of new project division. Now if you will see that net value is 570 of property, plant and equipment of new project division. Further it is given and networking capital of the new, working, uh, new project division. Now networking capital means they are taking over current asset and current liability. So current asset worth 1,500 are also being taken over by Sunrise Limited with respect to uh, this particular entity and also what we call current liability, 1,700. These three items are being taken over. Along with, this is just to confuse you, along with secured loans, along with secured loans, we know that out of 1,000 worth of loans, 400, 600 worth of loan was taken over by Khajana Limited and remaining 400 will be taken over by Sunrise Limited. So it is also taking over unsecured loans worth rupees 400. Correct? So this is how you will have to do the threadbare analysis. And just to confuse you, it is also given that it is taking over the obligation for capital commitment for which Diverse Limited is to continue to stand guarantee at book value. Normally in practical life, if there is any contingent liability, for example, there is contingent liability with respect to capital commitment. If a new company will take over this, this particular contingent liability, generally the entity which is transferring the assets and liability, which in this case is Diverse Limited. So it is telling to the Sunrise Limited, you don't worry about, you also take over this liability, but we stand as a guarantee that tomorrow if you have to pay it, we will see to it that we compensate it for you. So no need to worry about that. Correct? This is, however, it is not going to have any implication in the solution. It is to allot. Now, Sunrise Limited is to allot 1 crore equity shares of 10 each as consideration to Diverse Limited. Sunrise Limited, it is Sunrise Limited is to allot 1 crore equity shares of 10 each as consideration. Now, in this particular question, in this particular question, it is given that Sunrise Limited is allotting 1 crore equity share. 1 crore equity share. The 1 crore, I will write simply 1 crore. So, 1 crore equity shares are being issued by Sunrise Limited and of rupees 10 each. So, we may say that purchase consideration is equal to 10 crores. Correct? And it is given that this issue is to Diverse Limited. This is being given to Diverse Limited. This is being given to Diverse Limited. This is being given to Diverse Limited. Obviously, if it is being given to Diverse Limited, is it clear to you or not? Because this time it is clearly given 1 crore shares of rupees 10 each it are being issued to Diverse Limited and Diverse Limited happens to be the demersed entity. So quite obviously this will become common control. Till up to this particular point, it is appearing that both the situation is with respect to common control. Correct? Let's have a look further. Sunrise Limited made an issue of unsecured convertible debentures of 500 crore carrying interest at 15% per annum. Now Sunrise Limited, the new company made an issue of what we call some debentures worth 500 crore, that means 15 crore, it is written carrying interest of 15% per annum, that means these debentures are 15% debentures. And these debentures are having a right to get themselves converted into equity shares of 10 each at par on 31st of 3, 2023. Now the balance sheet date is actually 31st of March 2021. After two, three years, actually you can get these debentures converted into equity shares. Point is this. But right now, Sunrise Limited is issuing what we call 500 crores worth of debenture. This issue was made to the members of Diverse Limited as a right who grabbed the opportunity and subscribed in full. Now, this is the most tricky point of this particular question. 
See here. For a while, because I told you in the beginning, when I was analyzing the what we call scenario of demerger, I told you that purchasing company or new company can directly give what we call purchase consideration to demerged entity, demerged entity, or it can give the consideration to the members. We talked about these points. In this case, no doubt about that, Sunrise Limited is delivering the consideration to the demersed entity. That is why it is a case of common control without any doubt. Correct number one. However, further, in this case, as we have just seen, that new entity is issuing some debentures, issuing some debentures. But these debentures have been actually acquired by the members. It is given clearly in the question. The issue was made to the members of the Divers Limited. So for a while, some of us may feel, because I told you, if the consideration, if the consideration is received by the members, generally in that particular case, demersed entity, generally demersed entity never receives the actual consideration. This is what I told you in the earlier session, isn't it or not? But here you will have to be a little bit more careful. This time, debentures have been purchased by members in spite of that. In spite of that, demersed entity is going to pass the entry. Why, sir? Why? Because this time, debentures have been purchased by members. So, why demersed and why in the books of demersed entity we are going to do the entry? I will tell you. But what entry demersed entity is going to do? The demersed entity with respect to this will pass a very simple entry investment in debentures, investment in 15% debentures, investment in 15% debentures, 500 crores to bank account. This is the entry which this entity would pass. Now, the main point is why demersed entity is going to pass this entry, even though. These debentures have been actually subscribed by the members, I tell you. You have to look into the question. Here it is written, this issue was made to the members of Diverse Limited as a right, as a right. As you have heard about what we call right share, correct? If you are the existing shareholder of a particular entity, then you have the right to actually subscribe the new share, provided the company is offering some rights issue. This right is coming to members because shares of shares of new company Sunrise Limited are held by Diverse Limited because as we just went through uh, went through the paragraph earlier or in the preceding paragraph it was written that consideration was being given to the Diverse Limited Sunrise Limited is giving the consideration to the Diverse Limited. So, Diverse Limited is actually holding the shares of this particular entity, Sunrise Limited. Actually, Diverse Limited is having the right to subscribe these debentures. So, that is why the entry with respect to what we call debentures will be done in the books of demersed entity because they have the right to subscribe these debentures. Is it clear to you or not? Even though it is written in the question that uh, it is being made to the members of the Diverse Limited. So you must understand that why we are passing this entry in the books of Demersed Entity, which we are going to pass later on. I told you it's a pretty long question, tough question. Further, it is given Diverse Limited is to guarantee all liabilities transferred to the company. Again, it is an irrelevant information because this is always implied. Just a moment ago, I told you, if I am the organization, and two new companies are taking over my assets and besides that liabilities also. So I will, I will, I will stand as a sort of guarantee to the transferred entity. Is it clear to you or not? Then, although it is not needed, it is always implied. Further, it is given diverse limited is to make a bonus issue of equity share in the ratio of one equity share for every equity share. So, bonus issue is in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Bonus ratio is in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Now, what is the share capital of this entity, Diverse Limited? Total share capital in terms of rupees is equal to 250. And because bonus issue is in the ratio of 1 is to 1, quite obviously our total bonus issue will be equal to 250. So, we will have to pass an entry for the bonus issue. This entry will be made in the books of Diverse Limited, no doubt about that. An entry will be reserves and surplus account debit. Two, because for the purpose of bonus issue, we utilize the reserves and two equity share capital account and entry will be with respect to 250. 
Now the question says that none of the shareholder hold more than 50% and are not related to each other. Till up to this particular point, we were under the impression, we were, actually I was not under that impression to be very honest with you, but just, I just want to solve the question from the perspective of a student, correct? Earlier I told you with respect to ED division, where is ED division and in between I also told you somewhere it appears that both the cases are of common control. Now the point is that it is clearly clarified in this question that none of the shareholder is having more than 50% stakes in the new entity. So, but point here is that this particular point whether any shareholder holds more than 50% or not comes into play only when consideration is given to the members. If consideration is given directly to the diverse limited that becomes a case of common control. So our transaction with Sunrise Limited will fall under common control but at the same time as far as Khajana Limited is concerned so far we were under the impression because in this case Khajana Limited is delivering the consideration to the members and so far till up to this particular point we were under the impression or should I say you were under the impression that it is a case of common control but in the last line actually it is written that none of the shareholder it is very specifically mentioned so that means you are not going to treat it as a case of common control. You are going to treat it as a normal case of NDS 103 that when you will have to apply acquisition method of accounting in the books of acquirer company. Whereas in case of Sunrise Limited, because Sunrise Limited is the acquirer company, so Sunrise Limited definitely will do the accounting as per common control method. It will do the accounting as per acquisition method. Is it clear to you or not? This is the entire question. And in this question further, it is stated past journal entries in the books of Diverse Limited. And of course, prepare the balance sheet of the three companies after the scheme of arrangement. Three companies means you will have to prepare the balance sheet in the books of Diverse Limited. You will have to prepare the balance sheet in the books of Khajana Limited. You will have to do the what we call accounting and prepare the balance sheet in the books of Sunrise Limited. I told you it's a pretty long question. We do not expect such a long question, but still, why to take any sort of risk? Now, many students, when I will say I'm going to solve the question, well, sir, why you are writing? This is the first feeling which arise in the minds of the student, the moment actually I say so. But I have already told you, if you really intend to score good marks you need to be prepared to write a lot especially in our classes so question number 2.3 this is the question i am going to do for you for better explanation please please for god's sake do write correct if you're not going to write that when you are deceiving yourself first of all i am going to write here journal as i always do journal of diverse limited journal of diverse limited we have to do some Accounting in the books of Diverse Limited, so Diverse Limited. In the books of Diverse Limited, Diverse Limited is the demersed entity, remember one thing, correct? Now in the books of Diverse Limited, first of all, I am going to write here A, Transactions with Khajana Limited, because this time we are dealing with two entities, Transactions with Khajana Limited. Transactions with Khajana Limited. I will simply write K Limited. Or okay, let me write Khajana Limited. Khajana Limited. As far as Khajana Limited is concerned, it was given in the question when I was analyzing the question. I told you that Khajana Limited is taking over our investments. Correct? At a valuation of rupees 800. Khajana Limited is taking over investment, although investment in the balance sheet is appearing at 1000 and further they are taking over unsecured loan also and out of 1000 worth of unsecured loan, 400 worth, sorry, 600 worth of unsecured loan was taken over by Khajana Limited. Only this information is given to us. Now see here, when I am going to write here entries, my first entry will be I will debit Khajana Limited obviously because Khajana Limited is taking over some of my assets and some of my liabilities. The liability which is being taken over by Khajana Limited is with respect to unsecured loans. 
and we have seen that unsecured loans worth rupees 600 have been taken over. So I am going to write here 600. I will debit it off obviously and they are taking over investment. Investment in the balance sheet is 1000 and they are taking over investment at rupees 800. Please let me know at what value should I write here investment. You are diverse limited. From your perspective investment worth 1000 is moving out. So you will write 1000. You will not write actually at what value it is being taken over because from your perspective an item which is appearing in the balance sheet at 1000 is moving out. So quite obviously you are going to credit investment by 1000. Is it clear to you? Is it clear to you or not? Now in this particular case from your perspective net asset is equal to 600 minus 1000 are moving out. Correct net assets worth 400 is moving out. So you will presume because purchase consideration is not given. So it means you will ask Khajana Limited to pay us 400 because you have taken over net assets worth rupees 400. Is it clear to you this time purchase consideration is not given. So that is how you have found out the amount of purchase consideration. Quite obviously your net asset worth 400 are moving out. So you will ask the Khajana Limited to pay you 400. So it means Khajana Limited is supposed to pay you 400 rupees. Is it clear to you till up to this particular point? Is it clear to everybody? Okay. Now we move over to the next part. In the next part, of course, next part deals with consideration. And we have already seen that Khajana Limited is paying the consideration directly to Diverse Limited. So we are going to pass the entry in this particular case. Isn't it or not? Are we going to pass the entry or not? Yes, sir. We are supposed to pass the entry. In case of Khajana Limited, I am talking about who is receiving the consideration? Diverse Limited is receiving the consideration or members are receiving the consideration? Members are receiving the consideration. That means Khajana Limited is paying the consideration to the members and not to the Diverse Limited. Please, please take care of this. Anyway, Khajana Limited is making the payment for purchase consideration. It will make the payment, no doubt about that. I am going to write first of all here by Khajana Limited. Khajana Limited. And Khajana Limited is supposed to pay us 400. This is what we have written in our books. But problem is that consideration is not received by us. Consideration is not received by us. Consideration is being received by members. So that means it is a sort of loss to us. I told you if there is a loss to you, it is better to set off the loss against the capital reserve. But problem is that you are not having any capital reserve in your balance sheet. We have already analyzed the balance sheet in a threadbare manner. We found that no capital reserve was there. So I will simply write here reserves and surplus or other equity you can write. Reserves and surplus or other equity. Correct. So this loss because of the fact that consideration was not given to you, rather given to the members, correct? So, this is a sort of loss for you and you are going to debit your what we call revenue reserves. Is it clear to you or not? These are your dealings with respect to Khajana Limited because we have to pass the entry in the books of General Limited. So, Gen Diverse Limited is also having dealings in this case with transactions uh, with Sunrise Limited. So, under point number B, I will write transactions transactions with sunrise limited transactions with sunrise limited correct this is what we are going to write with sunrise limited transactions with sunrise limited transaction with sunrise limited as far as sunrise limited is concerned it was clearly given in the question that sunrise limited is basically taking over your a uh, new project division and we analyzed the question that it, it was taking over our pro uh, property plant and equipment beside that current asset and current, current liability and besides that it also took over unsecured loans worth rupees 400 out of 1000. Correct. So first of all my first entry with respect to this entity will be I will first of all debit Sunrise Limited and it was given in the question that Sunrise Limited is supposed to pay us 10 crores worth of consideration for which it will issue 1 crore shares of rupees 10 each 10 crores all figures are in crores correct 
and sunrise limited is taking over as i told you your two liabilities related to what we call new project division in fact one liability with respect to new project division is current liability and current liability was rupees 1700 if you remember so i will write here 1700 besides that it is also taking over the remaining part of the unsecured loan correct now total unsecured loan was 1000 out of which 600 worth of unsecured loan was taken over by khajana limited so i will write here unsecured loan unsecured loan of 400 unsecured loan of 400 so i will debit it also 400 correct two liabilities have been taken over besides that two assets are moving out property plant and equipment property plant and equipment at written down value related to related to new project division we found out was equal to 570 600 minus 30 depreciation net book value 570 and then it also took over current asset current assets of new project division is equal to 1500 correct now after this i am going to compare it if i am going to compare it the total is 2110 and out of that if i am going to subtract the figure i am going to get a balancing figure somewhere here and this balancing figure will be termed as capital reserve because this is profit profit will always be transferred to capital reserve so i am simply writing capital reserve of course it is profit and capital reserve will be equal to 40 Correct. This is the entry which you are going to pass. Very interesting question. I told you. Now, and it is a time consuming question also. But anyway, point number B is related to consideration. And as far as Sunrise Limited is concerned, as far as Sunrise Limited is concerned, consideration is being received by the Diverse Limited. Isn't it or not? So this time we are receiving the consideration and we are receiving the consideration in the form of the shares. So I am going to write here first of all equity shares equity shares in Sunrise Limited equity shares in Sunrise Limited equity share equity shares in Sunrise Limited debit is equal to 10 to Sunrise Limited. To Sunrise Limited. That is equal to 10. 10 crore worth of shares have been received by Sunrise Limited. Is it clear to you or not? Clear? Is it clear to you or not? Equity share in Sunrise Limited account debit to Sunrise Limited. Uh, just wait. Just hold on for a while. Actually, just give me, just give me five minutes of time. Just give me five. Actually, there is a courier guy, and I'm supposed to receive a big parcel. So, um, just wait.
Oh, really sorry for the sudden interruption. So I was talking about equity shares in Sunrise Limited account debit to Sunrise Limited and remember one thing this time the consideration is being received by Diverse Limited from Sunrise Limited. Is it clear to you there was some more information in the question with respect to Sunrise uh, with respect to transactions or Diverse Limited with Sunrise Limited for example regarding what we call investments isn't it i told you the entry will be passed in the books of diverse limited even though the debentures are being issued to what we call members correct and the entry will be investments in investment in debentures investment in debentures of sunrise limited of sunrise limited account debit debentures were 500 crore 15 percent debentures even this entry you can also write investment because when you are getting the equity shares of sunrise limited indirectly it means you are making the investment it is as simple as that you can also write it investment in equity shares of sunrise limited investment in debentures of sunrise limited account debit to bank account because you are purchasing the debentures this time that is 500 is it clear to you Further, there was one more information, if you remember, was related. That is with respect to bonus issue. And I told you the entry regarding the same, D. Reserves in surplus account debit or other equity. Bonus issue was in the ratio of 1 is to 1, if you remember. To share capital, equity share capital. And... It is equal to 250, 250. 250, 250. So these are our transaction with Khazana Limited and Sunrise Limited. Now as far as part B is concerned, this was part A. And now we will write the, we'll prepare the balance sheet in fact. Balance sheet of Diverse Limited. Balance sheet of Diverse Limited. As far as balance sheet of Diverse Limited is concerned, correct? Diverse Limited. In order to prepare the balance sheet, first of all, I am going to write the assets. Under the assets, I am going to write under the asset, I am going to write non-current asset. Under the non-current asset, you write property, plant and equipment. Property, plant and equipment. Correct? Property, plant and equipment at net value, you should write. Out of two division, establishment division and new project division, if you remember. Correct? If you remember. 30 was the net book value of property, plant and equipment of establishment division and establishment division is not taken over. So, as far as Diverse Limited is concerned, property, plant and equipment will appear at rupees 30. Is it clear to you? Is it clear? Because 570 worth of property, plant and equipment related to a new project division has been taken over. So, you are left off with this only. Then you write here investments. See here, as far as investments are concerned, in the balance sheet which was furnished to us, over there investment were appearing at 1000. However, this 1000 worth of investments were taken over by Khajana Limited. So, investments have become zero. But we made investments of 500 crores. Diverse Limited has made investment. I told you just a moment ago in what we call debentures so investment in debenture this is investment in debentures investments in debentures it will appear at 500 further you have also made investments in sunrise limited's shares also i told you when you are getting the equity shares of sunrise limited it is nothing but investment by a demersed entity 
in the what we call Sunrise Limited. So your investment will also move up by 10. That means in the new balance sheet, investment will appear at 510. Is it clear to you or not? Now I will write current assets. As far as current assets are concerned, if you remember, to total current asset is equal to 1,500. Total current asset is equal to 3,000, sorry. Total current asset were 3,000. Out of 3,000, okay, let me write it in this manner so that you shouldn't get confused. Total current assets were 3,000. Out of 3,000, establishment divisions current asset 1,500 have been taken over. So current asset of, sorry, 1,500 worth of current assets of new project division have been taken over. So 1,500 remaining current asset relates to establishment division. Is it clear to you? Now please pay attention. Out of this, out of this current asset, I will also subtract 500. Now you may wonder actually why I am subtracting 500. Actually, I am subtracting 500 because we passed an entry investment in debenture account debit to bank account. Because that is to bank. We have written an entry to bank. Isn't it or not? And in the question, cash is not given. So, I will subtract it from what we call this current asset. So, that is the reason why I am subtracting 500. So, 1000. So, now I will tally it and it will be equal to 1540. 1540. So, as far as balance sheet of diverse limited asset side is concerned, that is equal to this much. Now, we come over to equity and liability equity and liability as far as equity and liability is concerned please pay attention for the first of all i am going to write here equity under equity we write a share capital under the share capital because in the balance sheet share capital is given of diverse limited 250 lakhs and we passed an entry reserve in surplus account debit to share capital for bonus issue on account of that, my share capital has gone up to now 500. Is it clear to you or not? Right, sir. Further, we have, we have to write, in fact, other equity. As far as other equity is concerned, we saw in the balance sheet that other equity was given to us, I think equal to 1350. I have forgotten. I will have to look at the question. That is the biggest problem. That is the biggest problem. One three fortunately question is lying here itself. Right. One three five zero as you can see, I think right. One three five zero. One three five zero is the amount. Sometime I tend to skip the figure. Actually, most of the time figures are memorized to me. So one thousand three hundred and fifty is the other equity. First of all, let me write here other equity. One three five zero. Out of one three five zero, you must understand that. Diverse Limited, when we pass the entries in the books of Diverse Limited, here we, in, we debited reserves and surplus account by 400 because we did not receive the consideration which was due from Khajana Limited. It was received by members. So, on account of this, I will subtract 400 from the other equity. However, with respect to Sunrise Limited, there was capital reserve. I think it was 40, right, capital reserve was 40, so I am going to add 40. And for the purpose of bonus issue, we have utilized 250 worth of reserves and surplus. So, ultimately, in the outer column, I am going to write 740. Is it clear to you? And then after this, I am going to write here non-current liability. Under the non-current liability, there was subheading financial liability. Under financial liability, we had unsecured loan. But unsecured loan were 1000, but 600 worth of unsecured loan taken over by Khazana Limited and 400 worth were taken over by Sunrise Limited. So ultimately, we will find that unsecured loan have become zero. Besides that, in the question, what we had, we had actually current liability. As far as current liability is concerned, correct, current liability. 
Current liability, again, it seems the figure is lost to me. So I will have to look into the question once again to recap what was the figure of current liability. This is the problem only. Sometimes because such a long question is there, sometimes you tend to forget the amount. Just wait. Something was written when we were analyzing the question. So current liability of establishment division is 300 only. So this is the remaining current liability. So I will write current liability at one at 300 only. So in the balance sheet, after the unsecured loan, you will write current liability equal to 300. Is it clear to you? This is how you are supposed to prepare the balance sheet. And 1,540 should be the total. This is how you are going to prepare the balance sheet of Diverse Limited. Is it clear to you or not? After this, the next step is, because we are supposed to prepare the balance sheet of Khajana Limited and also of Sunrise Limited. So, now I prepare the balance sheet of, let us say, Sunrise Limited balance sheet of Sunrise Limited. I told you it's a pretty long question. Sunrise Limited. As far as balance sheet of Sunrise Limited is concerned, balance sheet of Sunrise Limited I'm talking about now. Now you presume you are the Sunrise Limited. And in the books of Sunrise Limited, we have to adopt common control method. Common control method. Why common control? Because consideration was discharged directly to the diverse limited. Common control. Isn't it or not? So, presume yourself to be the Sunrise Limited. You are almost taking over new project division and from there you got property, plant and equipment, current asset and current liability. Besides that, you also took over what we call loan. So first of all, let me write it in this manner, property, plant and equipment, property, plant and equipment, account debit, 570 worth of property, plant and equipment of new project division was taken over by us. Besides that, we took over current asset to the extent of 1,500 of new project division. We took one liability also, that is current liability worth 1,700 of new project division and also we took over unsecured loan to the extent of 400 unsecured loan to the extent of 400 clear and we are supposed to pay a consideration of 10 crores consideration of 10 crores so in this question, we are having balancing figure towards the debit side. And if you remember under common control, I also told in the last session that don't write here goodwill. Although we have a habit of writing goodwill when balancing figure appears towards the debit side. Correct. So it is better because no new, no new asset should be recognized under common control. That is the reason it is better to write here capital reserve 40. Although negative capital reserve is nothing but goodwill. So this is the first entry. After the first entry, you are going to now discharge the consideration. When you are going to discharge the consideration, your entry will be consideration account debit 10 crores. And you are discharging the, discharging the consideration through equity share capital. You are going to write here to equity share capital. And equity share capital will be equal to 10. Is it clear? Right, sir. Further, in this case, because Sunrise, you are the Sunrise Limited and you have issued some debentures, quite obviously you are going to write the next entry bank account debit to 15% debenture account. 15% debenture account. 15% debenture account. That is equal to 500. This is the entry you are going to write. Is it clear to you or not? Now we are going to prepare the balance sheet of this particular entity. Correct. After having written the entries, now we are going to, in fact, I have written here balance sheet, journal and balance sheet, I should write. Balance sheet. First, let me prepare journal and then balance sheet. 
journal and balance sheet of sunrise limited now we shall prepare the balance sheet i told you earlier also in order to prepare the balance sheet in the new entity you will have to focus only over the entries which you have written and besides that you will have to simply take care of the formats assets one non current asset under the non current asset we have taken over property plant and equipment so i am simply going to write property plant and equipment 570 correct only one property plant and equipment then i am going to write here to current asset under the current asset we have taken over current asset worth 1500 so i will write here 1500 but we also received some cash also 500 worth of cash is also received because of issuance of the debenture correct so 2000 will be the total is it clear to you or not so 2570 will be the total of the asset side is it clear right sir now we come over to the second point equity and liability equity and liability as far as equity and liability are concerned as far as equity and liabilities are concerned <clears throat> under here what we are going to do first of all i am going to write equity under the equity i will write a share capital now what will be the share capital of this entity because this is a new entity so you will have to look into the balance sheet we have issued equity share capital to the extent of 10 lakhs so that is why i am going to write here 10 lakhs as simple as that then i will write other equity item as far as other equity is concerned again i will look into the balance sheet and this time there is a debit balance in the capital reserve so i am going to write capital reserve negative balance 40. don't write here negative balance correct simply write in bracket 40. now after this we will have to write second non-current liability because we took over unsecured loan we presume that it is a non it is of non-current nature and we are writing it here and that is equal to 400 besides that current liability as far as current liability is concerned we took over current liability i think to the extent of three what was the amount of current liability 1700 i think 1700 so i will write 1700 so total will be equal to 2570 after subtracting 40 we will get 2570 now i will prepare the balance sheet of khajana limited journal of khajana limited and balance sheet journal and balance sheet of khajana limited in order to prepare the balance sheet First of all, we need to prepare the journal. Just think of your transactions with Khajana Limited first of all to pass the entries. If you remember, as far as dealings with Khajana Limited concerned, Khajana Limited took over investment. It was given in the question. They took over unsecured loan also. Correct? This is the point. Now, in case of what we call Khajana Limited, we have to be careful. We have to be careful because here we have to apply acquisition method acquisition method because khajana limited discharge the consideration to the members and none of the members is having more than 50 percent stakes in khajana limited so proper india 103 will come into play and india 103 states that acquirer company will record all the items at fair value now important point is that mistake which could creep in is with respect to what we call investment for example we know that khajana limited is taking over investment 
and it was clearly given in the question that investment was taken over at rupees 800. But because we are applying acquisition method, because we are applying acquisition method which states that assets must be recorded at fair value, so that is the reason I am going to write here 1000 rupees. Is it clear to you or not? Why I am writing here 1000? I hope it is clearer to everyone. Is it clear? Even though we are taking over the investment at 800, but problem is that we are applying acquisition method, which means that assets taken over must and liabilities taken over must be at fair value. So investment. Further, to unsecured loan account, you took over unsecured loan also. As far as unsecured loan is concerned, that is equal to 600. And you are supposed to give consideration of 400. Consideration. So no loss or profit in this case, but you are supposed to pay 400. Second entry with respect to payment of consideration. Consideration account debit. We are supposed to make a payment of 400. I'll write 400. And entire payment is by way of share capital. So I will write here two share capital. Correct. In the outer column I am going to write 400. Is it clear to you? Then I prepare the balance sheet. Now we are in a position to prepare the balance sheet. As far as balance sheet is concerned, first of all, as usual, I am going to write the assets. Under the asset, I am going to write non-current asset. Under the non-current asset, I am going to write property, plant and equipment. Unfortunately, this entity is not taking over any property, plant and equipment. <laughs> However, it is taking over investments. So you will record the investments. Investments, it took over and we have to record it at 1000 fair value, that is. Besides, the total will be equal to 1000. No current assets have been taken over. Now, Equity and liability. Equity and liability. As far as equity and liability is concerned, first of all, I am going to write here equity and equity and under it I am going to write share capital. Again, I will have to look into the balance sheet. Sorry, again, I will have to look into the entries. We have given share capital of 400. So quite obviously, I'm going to write here 400, isn't it? Then we will write here other equity. No other equity item is there. No capital reserve is there. Then I'm going to write here second, non-current liability. That is unsecured loan worth rupees 600 we have taken over and we haven't taken over any current liability. So total will be equal to 1000. Very interesting question. I hope each one of you would agree. Isn't it or not? Very interesting question. Isn't it or not? Right, sir. Very interesting question. We definitely enjoy doing it. Thanks a lot. So after having completed such a mammoth question, gigantic one, now you can see it is given in a solid manner also. Correct? Now let's have a look over these two questions. Although it is self-attempt, I have kept this unit as a self-attempt one. 3.1 taken from module X, Y limited has two division X limited, Y limited. The draft information of X and Y limited is given in figures are in rupees. The information which is given to you is that plant property, plant and equipment, as far as this division is concerned, it is having plant at a cost of 800 and this one is 400, depreciation is this much, but we are more concerned with the written down value. So far, information is related to only one item. Then current asset is given very clearly 500 and 400. 
As far as asset sites are concerned, we have noticed very carefully two items, property, plant and equipment and current asset. Besides that, current liability is given 200 and 300, correct? 200 and 300, current liability. And then we have got borrowings in this case, that is nil and 200. Is it clear to you? Further, we are given in the question that equity share capital is 400. Other equity item is 400 and 200, total is 600. So this is the information which is available in the question. Further now, it is given that Y division is sold to a new company. So Y division, division Y is so being sold in this particular case and it is sold to a new entity that is Z limited and the consideration will be 250 lakh and which will be issued by the new entity by issuing shares having a face value of 10. Question simply, actually in this particular question, if you can see very carefully, it is only given that Y division is sold to Z limited and consideration of 250 lakh was settled by issue of equity shares of Z limited. Number one. Number two, here it is given, presume purchase consideration is received by members of XYZ limited. In spite of that, we are going to consider it as case of common control. Why we are going to consider it as a case of common control? Because consideration definitely is being received by the members, but no information is given whether any shareholder is having stakes in the new entity or not. Is it clear to you or not? So first of all, as far as entries are concerned, first of all, pay attention. In this case, you think of what Y limited because division Y limited is being transferred. I told you it is having only one item, property, plant and equipment, 300 and besides that current assets, sorry, two item it is having. So first entry which you are going to write in the books of demersed entity, the demersed entity will become XY limited. So, your assets which are moving out, you are going to credit it to property, plant and equipment 300. You are going to write to current asset that is equal to 400. Besides that, in this particular question, as far as liabilities were concerned, one is in the form of what we call borrowings and another one is in the form of what we call your current liability. So, you are going to debit the current liability and the borrowings. Is it clear? And then you will write the what we call amount of consideration which you are supposed to receive from Jet Limited which is given in the question that is 250 lakhs you are supposed to receive. By comparing these things, you are getting balancing figure towards credit side. So obviously the profit will be transferred to capital reserve. You straight away write to capital reserve. Is it clear to you? You can easily manage this question of your own. Now coming over to the consideration point. Because consideration you are supposed to receive from Jet Limited that is 250, but unfortunately, this consideration is not received by you. It is received by members. So this is a loss to you. No doubt about that, it is a loss to you. And this loss will be debited too, depending upon the fact whether you have got capital reserve or not. Because in this case, in the first entry, you had 250 worth of capital reserve. So it is better that this loss of 250 should be debited to capital reserve. Sorry, in the first entry, in the first entry, we had capital reserve only 50. We had capital reserve of only 50 and we are debiting the loss to 250. In fact, you should write in this manner in this particular case. This entry is not written correctly, so you better write it in this manner. Other equity account debit, capital reserve account debit to Z company. We are supposed to receive 250 of consideration because it is a sort of loss. But in the capital reserve, we are having only 50. So I will debit the loss of 250. Out of 250, I am going to debit to capital reserve 50 and balance of the loss will be debited to other equity item. Is it clear to you? You better write this entry. So this is how you should move along. Now you will have to prepare the balance sheet. If we are going to prepare the balance sheet, obviously, whatever items which are left, we are going to simply write. For example, in this particular case, we had two divisions, X division, Y division. Now 300 worth of property, plant and machinery has gone out. We are left off with only 200 worth of plant and machinery. So only this machinery will appear in the balance sheet. Correct? Similarly, as far as current assets are concerned, Current asset was 
400 worth of current asset have gone out so we are left off with only 500 worth of current asset so i will write current asset that is 500 so total will be equal to 700 only two assets were there we have written both the assets coming over to what we call equity and liability side first of all i will write the equity share capital fine 400 now see here as far as surplus is concerned total balance is 400 and 200 is it clear to you? 400 and 200. So, first of all, I am going to write here under the other equity where I have written this is the balance sheet. You write in this manner 400 plus 200. First of all, you write 400 plus 200. Is it clear to you? The items which are appearing in the balance sheet. 400 plus 200 you have added it total is equal to 600 from 600 because in the entry which we just wrote a moment ago 200 was debited so i will subtract 200 i will subtract 200 so ultimately my net other equity will be equal to 400 in the balance sheet is that clear to you or not and in this question, there is no capital reserve balance because whatever capital reserve was there, 50, that got offset by debit to capital reserve, 50. Is it clear to you? This is how you are going to write. So, 400 will appear in the outer column, but in this manner. This is the way to reflect. Current liability is only 200 is remaining. So, this is your balance sheet. Now, coming over to journal of Z Limited. As far as Z Limited is concerned, Jet Limited will record all the asset which it has taken over. It has taken over property, plant and equipment, 300 worth, current assets, 400 worth. Besides that, it has taken over what we call current liability and borrowings. It will take consideration of 250, balancing figure is capital reserve. Don't write here goodwill. Correct? This is a case of common control. You, no new asset should be recognized. Now, as far as consideration is concerned, we will discharge 250 worth of consideration by paying the share capital. Now, accordingly, on the basis of these two entries, we will have to prepare the balance sheet. In these two entries, we have written property, plant and equipment 300. In the entry, we have written also current asset total is 700. And in the entry, we are issuing 250 worth of share capital. So, share capital will be 250. In the entry, we have incurred a loss. Correct by debiting the capital reserve. So, capital reserve will have a debit balance that is negative 50. And we have taken over borrowings of 200 and current liability of 300. So, total will be equal to 700. This is how you are supposed to do this particular question. Is it clear to you or not? Coming over to 3.2. Even this question can be managed by yourself. In this case, Max and Mini Limited has two divisions. Try to understand in this question. Name of the company is Max Mini Limited. Max Mini Limited is your demersed entity. Max Mini Limited is your demersed entity. And this entity is having two divisions by the name of Maxi Limited and Mini Limited. Maxi Limited and Mini Limited. This entity has got two division, Maxi Limited and Mini Limited. Is it clear to you? Right, sir. And my T in the meantime is almost has become like a cold drink. Correct? Like a cold drink it has become. So, as far as scenario in the balance sheet is concerned, this is one division Maxi, this is another division Mini. Total is also given to you. In this case, you are being given property, plant and equipment, of course, as usual, 600, then depreciation is also given, but more concerned with what we call written down value. Total written down value, 300 out of which mini division share is this much, maxi division share is equal to this much. Further, we are being given net current asset, current asset 400, 300, and in the outer column, it is written 700, whereas current liabilities are 100. 100 they have subtracted current liabilities from the current asset and shown what we call net current asset you are not concerned with net current asset you simply presume that current assets are given and current liabilities are given two items is still in the question one is as far as the asset side is concerned property plant and equipment at written down value 100 and 200 
and likewise current is at 400 and 300. This is how you have to analyze the question. As far as current liability is concerned, you are being given loan funds, but loan funds are related to only this division, that is mini division, correct? And then, just to confuse you, it is given that this loan has been secured on fixed asset. It is not going to have any impact. As far as capital is concerned, that is actually 50. As far as reserve and surplus or other equity is concerned, that is equal to 650. And then total is also given to you. This is the information in the question. Correct? So as far as liability side is concerned, we may say that as far as liability side is concerned, there are two liabilities of this division, that is mini division, correct, mini division. One is current liability, that is current liability is equal to 100, and what we call borrowings are also there, uh, borrowings, where is borrowings, there were some borrowings in the question, isn't it or not, right, loan funds, loan funds were there loan funds to the extent of 100, two liabilities and two assets. As far as assets are concerned, we have already seen property, plant and equipment is given. Written down value is 200, you will write here 200 and besides that we are being given current asset, you will write current asset to the extent of 300. So this is how you have segregated them into items, you have simplified the question now. Further it is given, it is decided to form a new company mini limited. A new company mini limited is formed. So a new company is formed by the name of mini limited. Mini limited is the name of the new entity, mini limited, correct? Now it is given, it will take over the assets and liability of mini division. That means mini limited will take over mini division new entity mini limited will take over mini division is it clear to you or not further it is given in the question accordingly mini limited was incorporated to take over the balance sheet figure at balance sheet figure the assets and liabilities of that division fine mini limited is to allot 5 crore equity shares of 10 each to the company to the members of maxi mini limited in settlement of the consideration so purchase consideration is actually 5 crores. Purchase consideration is 5 crores. Sorry, 5 crore equity shares of 10 each. So purchase consideration will become your 50 crores. And it is being given to the members. The members of Maxi Mini Limited are therefore to become the members of Mini Limited as well as, as well without having to make any further investment. Quite obviously. Because when mini limited will offer the share when mini limited will offer the share to the members of maxi mini limited of demers entity when it will offer the share of members limited obviously these members will not have to pay anything is it clear to you because this entity has already received this division and in lieu of that it is offering the share so this line is just to confuse you now it is given you are asked to pass the general entries in relation to the above in the books of Maxi Mini Limited. So we are supposed to pass the entries, we are supposed to prepare the balance sheet. Is it clear to you? I think you can easily do this question. Now in this particular question, we have already segregated the items. Isn't it or not? We have segregated the items. Now could you do this question of your own? Be honest and tell me. You, I think you should be in a position to do this particular question. We have already done Question number 3.1 and I think 3.2 you should be in a position to do, isn't it or not? Right sir, we should be in a position to do. Okay, if you are in a position to do, then let me actually ask you because if I am going to unfold the solution before you, then you will be able to tell me the answer quite easily. Okay, you tell me what will be the first entry in the books of Maxi Mini Limited. Suppose if I am going to ask you, Maxi Mini Limited is the most entity. Maxi Mini Limited. Now you let me know as I am figuring out, I am trying to find out whether you are in a position to do it. I know that some of you are working student and you are not having enough time to do the homework questions. So I am doing homework on your behalf. Correct? How cool and fine person I am. Isn't it or not? On your behalf, I am doing the homework. So please let me know what will be the first entry 
how you are going to prepare the general. We have already segregated the question. You, one of your division known as mini division is being sold to what we call mini limited, mini limited. Obviously, you are going to debit the mini limited first of all. And from mini limited, how much purchase consideration you are supposed to receive, sir? We are supposed to receive 50 crores worth of consideration, obviously. Now think of the two liabilities which you are actually transferring to this entity. One was loan funds as we talked about. Loan funds in the balance sheet is equal to 100 crores. So you will write here 100 crores. Besides that in the question, there is current liability and current liability is only to the extent of 100. So these two liabilities you are transferring. Besides that, besides that, you are transferring what we call sum of your asset. One among them was property, plant and equipment having a written down value of 200. So you will write 200. Besides that, you are transferring current asset. Current asset worth 300 transferred by your company. Obviously, in this case, you can see there is a loss actually because 500 minus 250 is equal to 250. So there is a loss. Obviously, you are going to debit the loss. Now the point is that I have told you several times because you are not having any capital reserve. You simply debit your reserve and surplus. This loss will be debited to reserve and surplus because in the balance sheet we have been given reserve and surplus and the loss will be equal to 250. Is it clear to you or not? Right sir. This is the entry which you are supposed to write. After having written this particular entry, next entry is with respect to consideration. Now coming over to the consideration, as far as consideration is concerned, this is going to be the second entry in the books of Max Mini Limited. Obviously you are going to credit the Mini Limited because Mini Limited will have to discharge the obligation. That is, that is 50 only, 50 lakhs or 50 crores, whatever it is. But problem is that, Consideration is received by the members. You are not receiving the consideration. So you, again, you are going to debit your reserve and surplus account. That is equal to 50 because it is a loss. Because it is a loss. Now, you will have to prepare the balance sheet. You will have to prepare the balance sheet of what we call demersed entity. Balance sheet of demersed entity. Demersed entity means Max Mini Limited. Now you will prepare the balance sheet of demersed entity, isn't it or not? Yes, sir, we are supposed to. In the balance sheet, you are going to write the assets. Under the asset, you are going to write the non-current asset. Only one item of non-current asset is given in the balance sheet and that is property, plant and equipment. Think of the division not taken over. The division which is not taken over Mini division is taken over. Maxi division is not taken over. And written down value of maxi division, you simply write here for 100. Then we have in this case current asset. I will write here 2. Current asset. Similarly, current asset of mini division taken over. Current asset of maxi division is still with the demers entity. So you will write the current asset of the division not taken over 400 so you can easily and in a straight manner prepare the balance sheet 500 correct then you are going to write here equity and liability as far as equity and liability is concerned under the equity and liability you are going to write first of all one equity under the equity you will write a share capital Obviously, the share capital, first of all, we are going to write and share capital of the organization in the balance sheet is given as 50, as we saw earlier. Then I am going to write here other equity items or simply reserve and surplus you can write. Other equity item is 650 given in the balance sheet. And out of that, there is a loss of 250, so I will subtract 250. The, again, there is a loss of 50. Again, I am going to subtract 50. So I will be left up with 350. So 350 will appear in the outer column. Correct? In this question, there is no non-current liability. Actually, non-current liability was there, but it, and it was related to mini, mini division loan funds and it has been taken over. So now, no non-current liability. Current liability, 100 of the division is still with the organization. So total will be equal to 500. 
is it clear to you or not? So easy. Easily you can do this question of your own. Now you have to prepare the journal of mini limited. Now if I am going to prepare the journal of mini limited. Mini limited. As far as mini limited is concerned because it is taking over two assets. So it is going to record property, plant and equipment of mini division it has taken over and taken over 200. Current asset also it took over worth 300. Are you getting my point or not? 300 worth of current assets have also been taken over. Besides that, this entity has also taken over current liability. Current liability was 100. It also took over loan funds, LF, also 100. And it will discharge the consideration to the extent of 50. In this case, there is a gain. Gain you will write to capital reserve 250. This is your balancing figure. Further now, only thing remaining is dis discharge of consideration. 250 worth of consideration this entity is supposed to discharge. So 250 to share capital. So on the basis of these two entries, we will have to prepare the balance sheet or mini limited. I will prepare the balance sheet of mini limited quickly. Asset site. As far as assets are concerned, correct one I am going to write non-current asset. Under the non-current asset, I am going to write property, plant and equipment. That is equal to 200. So I will write here 200. Second, I will write current asset. Current asset is 300. So total will be equal to 500. Then we will write the liability, equity and liability. As far as equity and liabilities are concerned, one, we will write equity. Under the equity, we will write a share capital. Now, what will be the share capital? Because this is a new entity, and this entity has issued share capital of 250. So I'm going to write here 250. Correct. Then I will write other equity. As far as other equity is concerned, in this case, capital reserve has taken place. So capital reserve and it is a credit balance. Capital reserve is 250. Sorry, uh, I have written here 250. I'm extremely sorry. This is the point actually I was thinking of because purchase consideration actually is 50 and I have written here 250. Purchase consideration is 50 only. Extremely sorry. Extremely sorry. So first let me actually clarify this one. Share capital actually is 50 and not 250. I will write here 50 and then capital reserve is 250. Capital reserve I will write 250. Besides that, we have taken over loan funds. So two, non-current liability in the form of loan funds. Loan funds is equal to 100. So I will write here 100. And then I am going to write current liability. Current liability is equal to equal to 100. So total will be equal to 300 plus 200, 500 only. So this is how you are supposed to prepare the balance sheet of this particular entity. Is it clear to you or not? Right, sir. Absolutely. We have understood each and everything. You have understood each and everything. That is fine. Now, just actually it is not needed at your level. Just to just to make you understand a little bit extra, a little bit. Not I will not take. I will not consume your much of time. Don't worry about that. I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Correct. Suppose if I am going to ask you, although it is not needed, just for your knowledge sake. Suppose net assets, if I am going to ask you of Maxi Mini Limited. Maxi Mini Limited. Maxi Mini Limited. Before the merger, that means before it sold off its division. Before the merger. Suppose if I am going to ask you the amount of net assets before what we call it sold the division, that means before the merger. How will you tell me the net assets of this division? 
you will simply look into the column of the total and you figure out the asset, correct, in order to find out the net assets, correct. For example, in order to find out the net assets, you will simply look into the total column, trace out the asset and from there on subtract the liability. Since we have already done so, we know that total asset, one was in the form of property, plant and equipment and another was in the form of what we call current asset. So total asset is equal to 1000. And as far as liability are concerned, there are two liabilities, 200 plus 100 that is equal to 300. Correct. So net assets will be equal to 700. Remember one thing, net asset can also be found out in this manner. Net asset is also equal to equity. And equity stands for share capital plus share capital plus other equity that is reserve and surplus. Now share capital given in the question as 50, other equity in the total column is given as 650. So we can say that net asset is equal to 700. So either way you can find out the net asset. I am simply asking you the net assets of this entity, demerged entity before what we call demerger is equal to 700. Is it clear to you? Suppose I want to know the intrinsic value of share. What is intrinsic value of share? Intrinsic value, intrinsic inside value. And what is intrinsic value actually that you will learn when we will do valuation of share. But at this moment, intrinsic value of share is found out by dividing the net assets by number of equity shares. By number of equity shares. For example, in this case, net asset is equal to 700 and number of equity share is 5, correct? 5 crore, 700 crore divided by 5 crore. If we will divide it by net assets, we get intrinsic value per share. Intrinsic value per share signifies that in case if this company gets liquidated, how well company can actually pay to the shareholder. Because one share is of 100 is, so we may say that if you are holding a share of 100, you need not require to worry, even if the company goes into liquidation, because you are in safe hands in the sense, intrinsic value of the share is 140, to back one share of 100, there are assets worth rupees 140. So intrinsic value of share basically is used by the investor to know the health of their investment. Is it clear to you or not? Is it clear? Fine. Okay then. Now we come over to, I'm asking this, this question because of, because although it is not asked, but in case if it is asked, you should be in a position. Suppose the question asks, you also compute intrinsic value before what we call demerger. So you can give the answer in this manner. Similarly, suppose if I ask you intrinsic value post merger, after the Demerger, sorry, I have written post merger. Actually, it should be demerger. Post demerger. Post demerger. After the demerger, suppose if I want you to compute the intrinsic value. Now just try to understand. Max Mini Limited. And now there is also Mini Limited. Now there are two entities, one Max Mini Limited, although it is having only one division and there is also another company Mini Limited. We will compute their net assets. If you will compute their net assets, which you can do so very easily, their net assets will be equal to 400 and its net assets will be equal to 300. Its net assets will be equal to 300, Mini Limited's net assets will be equal to 300. Actually, just to make the point a little bit clear, you can see here, Mini Limited's asset is equal to 200 plus 300, 500, and there are two liabilities, so net asset is equal to 300. It is as simple as that. Similarly, you can compute the what we call net assets of Max Mini Limited, that means what you will look into the balance sheet which you have drawn out after the what we call demerger. You have drawn already drawn out the balance sheet. Isn't it or not? So you have already drawn out the balance sheet of demerged entity after the demerger. So look over there, simply take into account the net asset. So you'll find net asset is equal to 400 and 300. Now I will divide it by the number of share. Number of share will be 5 crore. 5 crores. Now if I divide it by that, 
we get intrinsic value 6. 400 divided by 5 is equal to 80, I think. So, it, it is equal to 80. Intrinsic value of 80 and 60. What we find that is still the intrinsic value is coming to 140. That means shareholders are not losing out on account of this entire process. This is the significance of computing the intrinsic value of share post demerger and before the demerger. Suppose if post merger by combining these intrinsic value would have been 130, then I would have said that shareholders have lost out every bit because of this entire process. But generally in practical life, just for the knowledge sake actually I am talking about, whenever a company goes for the scheme of demerger splits off, it goes it in such a manner so that there is no loss to the existing shareholders. Is it clear to you? This is what actually I just wanted to uh, make you understand. As a professional student, you need to have this idea. But from the examination point of view, you will never be asked all these things. Don't worry. So you have to solve this question only up to this particular stage. Although it was a homework question, I solved it for you. But because I just wanted to explain this particular point. Obviously, in the next session, I will meet you. And in the next session, we'll talk about something else. Obviously, now we are finished of section 3. We shall move over to the next section. Is it clear to you? So on such count, we take leave of you. Hope you must have enjoyed today's this particular session. And looking forward to meet you then tomorrow at same time. So till then, it's time. And keep on please writing good comments. I am still very disappointed by each one of you. I'm not getting the sort of comments which I would love you to. Especially if we are having such a high strength of student in the session. Correct? So we are looking forward to have your comments. Because your comments gives us zeal. At the same time, they provide what we call a sort of clue to the others, so that others also should get benefited. Don't be so mean that you should not tell about the quality to the others. Be more large, show some large-heartedness, tell your friends, share in your groups regarding the quality and regarding the what we call sort of efforts which we are picking up to give you most probably the best coaching. I hope at least here till up to this particular point you would agree to us so on such count we take leave of you and with a lovely good night we definitely shall meet you in the next class at same time till then time to say goodbye